Okay, in this video I'm going to continue my tutorial videos on quantum statistics and we're going to begin by discussing the multiplicity rules and this is multiplicity rule number one. This is tutorial video number five in this lecture series and the previous video was the meaning of classical particles, bosons and fermions. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to discuss each of the, I think there are five, I think I've broken it down into five rules and from there I'm going to use all five rules to discuss the the multiplicity functions or the basically the entropy for Maxwell Boltzmann, Fermi Dirac and Bose Einstein distribution functions. So let's say we have four distinguishable particles. Namely A, B, C and D. They are non interacting Okay, therefore, uh, actually, let's say that they are interacting particles. Let's say that they are interacting particles. Okay, like so. So we have four distinguishable particles and they are interacting. Now this doesn't fit into one of the classical boson or fermion. I'm just making this up in order to uh, fit into the, we'll say the, uh, into the rule. So how many different ways can I arrange these four particles? And the reason I wrote that they're interacting is that I only want to have one particle per state. All right. So how many different ways can I arrange A, B, C, and D? Well, it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you. You can just write out a table, as I've done here, and you could just list all. In this case, 24. How do I know there are 24? Well, I just wrote them all out. I had A, B, C, D, A, B, D, C, and so on. The whole way down to D, C, A, B, number 24. So I'm not going to bore you with that. If you want, you could pause the video to get the, to get the table. So what I found is that there are 24 combinations. Okay, or I'm going to say omega is, is equal to 24. I think that's omega. I'm still not too sure. Probably should check that out. Okay. So there are 24 different combinations. Now how do, we, how do we work out the rule for the multiplicity? Well, if, the, if you look at it, there are four possible states. So we'll say this is the first state, so G sub 1 is equal to 4. Okay? This is the first macro state, and in this macro state there are four micro states. Okay? Here are the four micro states. In actual fact, I'm going to draw the macro state. So this is S is equal to 1, okay, and how many particles that we have? We have N sub 1, the first macro state, and we have four particles as well. Note that the, the, these two fours, G sub 1 is equal to 4, and N sub 1 is equal to 4, are independent. If I put in five particles, if I had E as well here, then this would be equal to 5, and yet we would still have G sub 1 is equal to 4. But that's not the case at the moment, okay? So you have four particles, A, B, C, and D. All right, and I'm saying the multiplicity is 24. So how do we get the multiplicity as 24? Well, the answer is, well, look at the first micro box. We can put four, any one of these four, we'll say particles can go in here. So this is four choices. Well, if one particle is in here, then there are three remaining for this box, two for this, and one for this. And that means the multiplicity is going to be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 4 factorial. Alright? So, in general, where you have n distinguishable uh, 1 per state, we have omega is equal to n factorial. Sorry, now I know that you couldn't see that there. Omega is equal to n factorial. Now, what you should realize is that this is the maximum multiplicity of the microstates. So, for or of the macrostates, this is the maximum. So, any any we'll say adjustments we make to any of the multiplicities will be to reduce this number. And the reason that is is as follows: If I put a and b, we'll say in here. Let's say I put two particles in here. Let's say I put two particles in here, one in here, zero in here, and one in here. That means the macro state is actually 
there the, it's a smaller macro state because there are no particles in here. Okay, so it's I'm after reducing. In, in actual fact, I really only have three particles. I'm only have three boxes filled, rather than four boxes filled. So the number of ways of filling three boxes versus filling four boxes is um, is smaller. All right. So the point is that the for n distinguishable particles where we put one per state, the multiplicity is is n factorial, and this will be the largest multiplicity of the lot. All right. So that's all I've got to do for that rule. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and if you're in a good mood, please click an add.